this project as proposed is a nightmare for my family, for the trails that we love, and for anyone living near your proposed high voltage power lines. I would like everyone here to imagine putting your kids to bed within 100 feet of high voltage wires that emit EMF, the long term effects of which we don't know much. Imagine kissing your kids goodnight in a house that no one will ever buy. Knowing that your family is being exposed to this EMF and there's not a thing you can do about it. My concern is not just for my children, but for also for my neighbor's children and all families of Sudbury. Think about having to keep your children and animals away from part of your yard to avoid coming into contact with the chemical cocktail of carcinogens that Eversource is going to use to manage vegetation, toxins that have been banned in countries all around the world. Thinking back to the big storm we just had last weekend, are we supposed to believe that these nasty herbicides they're going to use are not going to run off into our yards, our streets, our vegetable gardens, our drinking water, and are not going to end up on paws and sneakers that are walking into our houses? Transmission lines are terrible neighbors. If you do a quick web search, you'll find case after case of utility companies cutting down trees on private property and encroaching on people's yards, lawns, and gardens. This happened, in, this happened in Sudbury just a few years ago. People lost trees, shrubs, even a child swing. As you can imagine, they lost much more than just those tangible things. The contractors Eversource hires have no connections to the towns they service. They have no concern for our town, our trees, our wildlife, our kids. No, they will cut, they will lay waste, and then they will move on. Leaving us with an irreparably changed town, industrialized overnight and with absolutely no recourse. Power lines bring hard times to communities. They bring hard times to neighborhoods. They bring hard times to families. Your focus on trails is like telling us you're gonna bulldoze our houses but give us an Xbox. <laughs> Are you really incapable of coming up with a solution that won't destroy our community? Our neighbors and friends, people in this very room, have spent hours and hours developing feasible alternative routes even as we know, and you claim not to know, that the need for this project is non-existent. The town is united against this project in a way that has been incredible to watch. Eversource is not going to pull a fast one on Sudbury. We are far too smart, too united, and too strong for that. So I say to you, we know you could change this in a heartbeat for our community. You could do the right thing. You could choose to end this right here and avoid a legal battle for you and your shareholders. You could choose to listen to a town united against this project. You have heard from federal, state, and town officials. You have heard from realtors, business people, and advocacy groups. Let me just say this, none of us are going away. We will fight you here, we will fight you at the siting board, we will fight you in court. We will we fight you with growing strength and confidence every step of the way until you hear our voices. We need